Okay, guys, hope you're well. Same process as ever. Mike's on either side. If you can raise your hand, we'll come to as many of you as we can. Set an embargo partway through for 10.30 this evening. Start with Simon, please. Hi, uh, Pep. Um, yesterday, there was a big announcement about the FA Cup. You know what the FA Cup means to people in England. You've won the tournament. Do you have a view on the decision to get rid of replays? Because clearly... At the top end of the game, you've got a lot of matches, but other people really like the idea of replays. I think you know better than me the reason why it was built or was created replays in this country is for the lower divisions, guess, for uh, have the chance for a gav, uh, give an opportunity with these uh, clubs in lower division have an opportunity to have a big clubs a good. You know, a good uh, money for them for that. What well, that sense is a is a problem. It's a big blow. Absolutely, with the reason why for the big clubs playing the European competitions, it's much better. It's much better. We have less games in our tighter schedule, lots of games. So, to find the balance today in the world football is the most difficult thing, and I understand and the. Clubs in the lower divisions can complain about that because if we have a game here in the other stadium, man, we cannot win. You have to go to the a team with a conference one or League One. That game is so important for them. That's why I think was create that uh, replacing the FA Cup for a tradition for many many years. But with the schedule that we have, uh, especially the teams like play European competitions and national teams, many many players go to the national team. It's much better. Um, obviously, a lot of your thinking about this match will, I assume, centre around Cole Palmer. When you when you look back, when you've seen what he has done, well, first of all, are you surprised how well he's done? And has it made you at all think you made a mistake letting him go? <laughs> no. That is an exceptional player. We knew when he was here. And we know how he's proving, but have a lot of minutes. I said many times, I didn't give the minutes and maybe he deserved it. He wanted the minutes and now he has a Chelsea. So I understand completely. So I'm happy for him because he's a lovely guy, a shy guy, have a incredible potential. The whites have not been here. So it's 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 what it is. <laughs> so he's playing good, um, he's an incredible threat, he's playing fantastically. So uh, what can I say? The decision has been made for many reasons. He was asking two seasons to leave. During two seasons. To leave, to leave. I say, no, stay, stay. At the end, no, I want to leave. What can we do? So I said in the pre-season, stay because Riyadh is gone. I said, no, I want to leave. After two seasons, what can I say? So go and there. So that playing that level is an exception. Yeah, <laughs> everybody knows it. And they yeah, hi Pep. Obviously, it was a tough way to lose on Wednesday night. What's the feeling now going into what is another big game? Today better than yesterday, and tomorrow <coughs> better than today. So, you feel uh, the players are ready to to go out there and you know willing to try to put right what went wrong? On we don't have another option. I don't want to feel sorry for ourselves. In football, you lose games, so we perform in our best. We could we're not able to win. So, what next? So, we, we don't have time to reflect. We're reflecting summertime, what happened during all the season. So, in football, it's you win, you compete to win. That is what you have done, but sometimes you win, sometimes, most of the times. Well, lately in this club, it didn't happen in years, but sometimes you lose games. So, and is it what happened? And just on the players who came off, Erling, Kevin, and uh, Manu, how are they? <coughs> Uh, Kevin feels well. Uh, Erling, who is it? Yeah. Hi. Uh, for, hi Following up on Erling, you said you will see. Uh, how is this uh, condition? We'll see. <laughs> Was there any problems before he asked to, to come off? Yeah, absolutely. It was a tough game, 120 minutes. A lot of action, high intensity for both sides, and Erling felt something, <coughs> a muscular issue, 
and that's why he asked me I could not continue and and Kevin the last minute as well he felt exhausted so tired and after what happened five months injured so that is normal but we see tomorrow and uh, last question can you say a little bit more about the muscular issue that uh, Erling uh, experienced for Erling uh, yes uh, I, I don't know I'm not a doctor <laughs> What does the doctor say then? Um, I said, yeah, it's a little bit niggles, I have a little bit problem, and we see how is evolution in the next hours. Anton? Just, just following up on, on that, I suppose, with Manchester City playing so many big games, not just this season, over the last few years, is it a concern when two of your most influential players can't finish the 120 minutes in a, in a big, big game, and when players like Rodri come out and say, they're tired. It's normal. With the amount of games we have played this season and the previous seasons, and the, the, the not much recovery and and extra time and high intensity. The way we played, we put a lot of pressure in, in our game, and that's why the fatigue is there. They are human beings, so they are not a machine. So they are human beings. And sometimes the fatigue is there. And. Obviously, I know you're preparing for a big game in the FA Cup, but we're all very excited about the title race. With all three of the teams in the title race now out of Europe, does that add an extra dimension, an extra intensity to the title race now? Oh, I prefer to be in the Champions League and play the title race being in the Champions League. We are used to. Because in the last three years, we arrived in semi-finals, finals. So, uh, it's what it is. So, it's question of adapt. The schedule that the broadcasters and the FA Cups or Premier Leagues decide wh where we are, when we have to play. Hi, Pep. If, if I could come back to Wednesday night again, um, you have already said that you did whatever, uh, everything that you could have done. Would you agree, though, that up until Madrid scored, the game started a bit slow? And if you agree, why that happened? Yeah, you, you want to play 90, 120 minutes like we played the last 80 minutes against Madrid? I don't know which was and time to make a judge. Do you know which team we were facing? Did you expect that Madrid didn't have the ball or create the chances or have uh, opportunities to create that? Or you believe now because we're sitting here, we're going to win another travel this season and next season another travel and next season another travel. And we're going to win the Premier League for 20 points in front of the opponents. So it's not the truth. So the, the, the most unbelievable thing is that we compete as a team that we are until the end. And in some moments they start because they take the ball and ah because last season they didn't do it they, this season they cannot do it. They are an incredible team, uh, used to play under pressure with um, big events and had to do it. Even with that, we were absolutely outstanding for the minute one and the minute one twenty twenty plus penalties included. So, so we were good, really good in many things. And the margin it was we lost for an aggregate and penalties for three. Uh, so and you have to accept it <laughs> so we're good yeah good enough no because you were good a little bit better we can win we don't win in this business who wins is right and who doesn't win is wrong so last season we won we were right this season they won they are right so don't make another analysis so we can say oh what would happen if that would happen if that if that did doesn't count don't count in that level you have to win we did everything we know it they know it all the world know it but it was not enough and when it's not enough it's bad night congratulate them we have done a thousand million times and and tomorrow FA Cup and because you have been that good um, it's rare that you feel the taste of a big defeat um, does, it, does it change anything is it, is it, is it different it's not the first time it happened in my life that in Champions League I shoot 35 shoots on target against Chelsea with Roberto Di Matteo, and I lost. We played incredible well by Munich in the semi-final against Atletico Madrid, but unbelievable in the first half. I know how many shoots, and we lost. So, we lost in the last minutes, we lost uh, this game. So, it's football. It's not about this opponent. It's football. It's happened. So, but it happened when you do who you are and perform who you are, what else? So we are sad. Yeah, of course we are. We want to continue, but try to qualify for the Champions League and next season try to do it. But it's not the first time it happened in my life. So, but we have done what they have done. 
and everybody knows we did everything. It's not possible because they were incredible well defense in the box. They were incredible solidarity with the amount of talent they have. It doesn't matter. They defend, they defend during a long, 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 long time. So that is chapeau. I think my team is not able to do this. I tell my team had to they had to defend a lot, a lot of minutes in my box. We are not good. We are not able to do it. We could not do it. And they are able to do it. So big credit to them. Always we can say. And next time, if it happens again, if we play again, how can we do to create three? I don't know how many shoots we have done. 60, a double. <laughs> you have more chances to score a goal. It's the only chance we can do. Try to do better there. But we are not doing it. But the players did everything. And when that's happened, it happened three days ago against Luton. It happened before in Madrid. It happened before against Crystal Palace. So the team always is there, always. And that, after we come from, it's quite admirable. So it's really, really good. I'm so proud. But I would love to be there, unfortunately we are not.